Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Week in Life vlog with me, Mr. Ken Dennis. So, um, today it's actually Thursday. I'm starting the vlog on a Thursday instead of a Tuesday because Tuesday I pretty much ended the vlog just before I started editing um, that vlog, so last week's vlog. So I just, you know, I thought I'm gonna not vlog for the rest of the day. So today is going to be quite a busy day yet again. Um, so I thought I'd wake up a little bit earlier today and then start some editing. Um, I won't necessarily finish the edit for tomorrow's video. I might just do that tomorrow. It just really depends. Um, but tonight is going to be a big night because um, I've got work um, starting at 11 until 7 in the evening. And then after that I have got an event with Samsung. So um, hopefully everything works out and I get there on time. So I'm going to bring my makeup to work. So I'm probably going to do a getting ready with me but sort of like a time lapse thing at work as well. Alright, as you guys saw, I basically added some grapes this time to my original sort of like fruit smoothie. Um, so we'll see how this tastes. I can definitely taste a little bit of that grape after taste now. Um, I didn't put as many strawberries as you guys saw, I just put one. Um, but it is quite sweet. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, slowly drink on this and I also have a coffee. Um, and then I'm gonna start editing. I'm going to be editing the Black China video that you guys will probably see on Friday. Um, and then I'm gonna pack my bags, get myself ready for work. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a long ass day again. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, so I am now at work. It is, what time is it? It is 2.49 in the afternoon. So I'm just about to have a break. Going to have something to eat. I'm gonna just have some Chipotle tuna and some rice to be completely honest with you guys. Um, but I got this package from a Maybelline. So let's open this up. Ooh, packaging. What? A breakthrough tattoo brow three day peel off gel tint. Ooh, so you know how like these things were like popular on eBay. Looks like Maybelline has got their own take on it. And ooh, that's exciting. I might try this out when I do my hair again. I think I'm gonna bleach my eyebrows and then I'll pop this and we'll see how it goes. This looks very, very interesting, guys. So looks like there's four available shades. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the first, apparently, um, has landed in Australia, and we would love you to be the first to experience it before the US and Europe. That's different. We usually get stuff last, so exciting. I might try this out this weekend, actually, now, um, you know, for the views, but that's what the packaging looks like. It just says Tattoo Brow. Um, so I think I've got all four colors, so I'll try that out this weekend. Like I said, we usually get things last, like, you, the US and Europe usually get these products first and then, you know, probably six months down the track we get it. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I'm gonna try that out. Um, I'm gonna have lunch. Hey guys, it's now 10 p.m. in the evening. I'm about to head off soon. I just need to do my face. I thought I was gonna do a getting ready with me, like, time lapse, but, um, the lighting in here is not the best. So, um, I think I'm gonna skip that and I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so makeup is on. So I've got the Urban Decay Naked Heat, um, Naked Heat Palette, is that the one? Um, but yeah, I think my concealer is a little bit darker than my actual foundation. It's looking a little bit yellow under there. I tried using yellow powder to correct it, but hopefully it's not too obvious. And I've also got my Celotica Quartz in Natural Lenses and um, Muchi Lashes in Fab. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to my colleagues and then I'm going to catch an Uber. All good. So just three here. Yeah. Thank you. Camera is there and you're very well framed right now. Awesome, thank you. Hey guys, I'm just in one of the toilets. I'm sure you guys can hear that it's really loud out there. Um, but I thought I would just take the opportunity and vlog and just kind of do a little bit of a close-up of the makeup. Um, but yeah, um, I just did the VR and it was really cool and got to see some of my friends and you know, hang out with them again. Awesome! So, outfit of the day, not that I have a very great outfit. So this is the shirt that I got from um, Tara Cash the other day. 
So just wearing my chinos from work, these are from Target and just like my work shoes. So yeah, it's a showcase tonight. I'm just gonna show you guys around, maybe grab a beverage, and yeah, let's just go look at everything. As you guys can tell, I had a sleep in because my hair is pretty much all over the place, but that's the story of my life. Um, so I thought I would start off this vlog section by showing you guys what I received in the last few days at work. And then I'm pretty much just going to do some editing, just try to catch up on some editing, and then I'm going to try and have some time to play my video games. I think that's what I need so that I don't, you know, feel exhausted or worked, um, is to just really try and get things done ASAP so that I can, um, just play my games and just do whatever I want after. Alright, so let's start off first with this palette from BYS. So it just says Peach BYS eyeshadow palette. Now, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can already see where they took inspiration from this, um, or which palette they took inspiration from this. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Obviously, not all the colors that are available in the Sweet Peach palette. Actually, let me grab that. So this is my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. I mean, aesthetically, they kind of look similar, but in terms of, ooh, that's a bit of glare, um, in terms of colour selection, like the oranges, or peach tones, I should say, very similar, we've got some brands, some of the lighter colours, very similar, um, I wouldn't say it's an exact 100% dupe, just based on looking at it, but I would say they are alternatives of each other if we're just looking at the colour selection. But I'll definitely do a makeup tutorial on this palette, um, maybe this weekend, just depending on how much time I've got, um, I might do a makeup tutorial tutorial so a warm smoky eye I mean seriously guys that's the story of my life um, and then I also got this product from matrix so this is the bond ultimate number three I suspect this is the um, equivalent of an Olaplex so um, at, at home treatment you know um, just to help heal the hair just make it stronger after treatments and as you guys know I've done so much to my hair um, so I can't wait to try this out. I'm currently using Olaplex but it's almost out the door so as soon as that's gone I'm going to try this one out um, include it into my hair repairing um, routine and then if you guys are interested in a video of how I maintain my hair protect it and whatnot, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment box down below and I'll definitely do that video for you guys. Okay, so change of plans. My partner and I are now going to go out to his house. I'm um, just going to go see his sister. So ju I just thought I would share with you guys what I'm currently using for skincare. So, still using the Mbachi eye cream underneath the eyes. So I do this pretty much every day, even if I'm not wearing makeup. Because, you know, I think skincare is very, very important. And if you don't take care of your skin, um, no matter how gorgeous your makeup is, sometimes it just doesn't, you know, sit properly. So I always do eye cream first. And then I just do a little bit of this serum. So this one is from Medicaid. This is the Medicaid CE Tetra. So this is, I, I believe, the more potent version of the vitamin C. So I just take, like, three or four drops. Just depending. Today's a bit cold, so I feel like I'm going to be a bit dry. So I just basically pat it all over. And then um, I let that so sit in for just a couple of seconds, and then I just go in with my moisturizer. So the one I'm using at the moment is from QV, if it will ever focus. Um, this one is just the Moisturizing Day Cream SPF 30. So again, Winter doesn't really matter. I always oh that's a sexy sound. I always wear some sort of sunscreen before I go out. Um you know, because sun cream. See so now like I was filming that little segment with my skincare. Now this little bit keeps moving around and I just spilt my um oil. Fine, I still have a lot of the oil left, but it's just this little mechanism, this joint is now weak. I think it's might be, it might be because the new camera, this one, is a little bit heavy. So, 
Ugh, this is like my little souvenir from Sydney, so now I need to get a new one. I might get the other one, the video one. I think it cost $25 more, but oh well. I need a tripod of some sort um, to bring along. I might get the Ma Manfrotto one because a lot of my friends seem to have the Manfrotto one. And that one seems to be a lot sturdier than this one. JB Hyper, I need to get a new tripod. We're gonna go get a Manfrotto one um, just because I think it's a lot sturdier. Um, so, as you guys can see, I, so I'm with my partner and his sister, we're just going around. Um, and yeah, we just had some Manchester ramen, it's really good. I had the spicy pork bowl, it's really good. I highly recommend that. So, I've got my new tripod, it is bigger, significantly bigger than the Joby, Joby one that I had. Um, so, we're now at this place, it's cupcakes, I think. It's so, this is their menu. I want a cookies and cream and then they've also got hot drinks obviously and then they have um, different locations around Australia by the looks of it or is it just Melbourne? I think it's just Melbourne. So cute, so this is like their little um, card with obviously their contact details but they also have their little menu card as well. So we have got a cookies and cream, a strawberry I think salted caramel and a double chocolate one or is it just the chocolate one? Well, let's try out this cupcake. So I've got the cookies and cream one. Let's actually eat that first. The little cookie. Mm. Yummy. Alright guys, so ooh, we have just dropped off uh, my partner's sister at their house and his niece um, and now we're heading back to my place. We are going to go stop by Coles first as usual, that's what we normally do. Okay guys, so we're just gonna take a little detour. We're now at Williamstown Beach, or near it. Um, I don't know, I just, I didn't really feel like um, going home yet. And wow, the views are so pretty. So I'm gonna share that with you guys now. All right guys, so we've just parked and look at all these seagulls. It's like an apocalyptic seabird invasion. So I've just stepped out of the vehicle, sorry. I still haven't ordered like my little um, micro muffs so the wind is probably going to really annoy you guys hopefully it doesn't I'm gonna try and block it with my hand as much as possible but yeah um, I don't really know what this spot is called but it's near Williamstown Beach so this is basically the view and you can see the city over there oh sorry guys I hope you guys can hear me I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you you know you make me feel so alive can't stop thinking about your day and night love it when you kiss me Alright guys, so we're back in the car. It's really windy, it's really really cold. The drone didn't really handle the winds that okay. Like it, it's it did well, it did well to stabilize it, but it, realistically it's really windy. But at least now we know that this is a spot that we can fly it in. Um so I don't think um the audio from the clip that I was talking about earlier is going to be usable, but I basically was saying that we used an app. Um I think it's it's, it's an app made by somebody somebody else in conjunction with the government. So the app's called RPAS. Um, it's called Can I Fly There? So if you guys go into like the Google Play Store or I suppose the Apple Store as well, you can find that. It's um, an app made in conjunction with the um, government, like CASA, I think it's called Civil Aviation Something Something Australia. So if you guys haven't 
a drone in Australia and you want to know like what are the legalities to fly it, um, definitely check out that app. So Rachel from Rachel, I think the Rachel Travels, I'll leave a link down in the description box to her Instagram account. Um, she was one of the girls that were featured um, at the Samsung event and she's got a drone as well. She's got amazing drone footage on her Instagram. So she told me that you can use that app to see where you can fly it and you won't get in trouble. What are the rules, regulations? So yeah, definitely check that one out. Um, but yeah, we're back in the car. It's really cool. We didn't really um, plan for this. It was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to go home yet. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool location. Um, if I can find out what the name of this place is, I'll put um, it down in the description box down below as well. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. As you guys can see, I am in work attire. Um, I don't normally work on Tuesdays, but my co-worker is currently sick, so uh, I'm just going to um, cover for her for a couple of hours. I only need to be at work for maybe two or three hours max, and then I'll come back, and then I'm gonna do some editing. I also receive a few lovely packages, um, which I will show you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so I am back in the car. So my partner just picked me up from the train station. So it's, I think, 15 past one. Um, so we're now heading off to McDonald's. I'm um, gonna get some lunch. We're gonna go through a drive-through. Um, story of our lives, <laughs> pretty much. So when I get home, I'm going to show you guys what I've received so far, PR-wise, and then I'm going to film a makeup look using one of those products. Actually not one, maybe a few of the products that I got from PR, but you get the idea. Hey guys, so back home. Just had lunch, and I'm gonna show you guys this amazing package that I got from BYS. First of all, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is massive. So let's open it up. So I got this at work yesterday, and I was just like, oh my gosh, look at all of that. So I've got some brushes over there, more brushes here, and I've got some products. So you guys can see contour, matte eyeshadows some lippies, some skin products, and then there's another layer, even more, this one is the banana powder, and for once it doesn't look like neon yellow, so very very excited to try that out, I find that a lot of drugstore banana powders, they tend to be quite neon, and they just don't work on people of my complexion, um, you've got a brush belt, even says BYS, and I also have this. I'll show you guys that pink thing later, but this also has got a strap, the keys, and then I've also got this palette. So this is the Nude Exposed. And look at them colors. So this is definitely bigger than the normal BYS eyeshadow palette, as you guys can tell. Double the amount of eyeshadows. But yeah, really excited to try that out. Now for this pink thing. This one was so cute, I actually got to see this on a Snapchat um, preview. Um, so, Sammy, the PR rep for BYS, she sent me a snap of this being made, and oh my gosh, this is so cool. So it says BYS, and my Instagram handle, obviously, and just, that is just so cool. I've never had a brand use my face like this, for something like this. I mean, obviously I've been regrammed and everything, but this is like, different. Thank you so much, Sammy, and to the BYS team. Cannot wait to try out these products for you guys and um, show you guys what these products can do and all the looks that I can come up with. Then the next package that I received that I was so surprised, did not expect it, is from MAC. So if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you guys would have seen this already. I'm not going to pull out the towel because it's really, it's really big and to put it back in here was a bit of an effort for myself because I'm tiny. But as you guys can see, there's the ba uh, basic, oh, bad bitch, basic basic bitch cap. So this is the palette. So this is the basic bitch palette. So let's just open this one-handed. Ooh, it's been difficult. Um, so it's still got that sleeve. Hello, you guys can see me. So I'm going to film today using this palette. So apparently it's a face palette, so that's the highlighter in this palette. And then obviously some eye stuff. So I'm not really sure what look I'm going to go for. They did send me like a face chart guide. Um, for inspiration, so I'm gonna see if I can do that. If not, I might try something else. And I also have got this, um, the Roller Wheel Eyeliner. I did see a few people do a review on this already, and you know what? I am excited to try it out. Let's see if it actually will work. I think it's definitely one of those products that I will have a little bit of difficulty first, because it's got a different tip, so it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, but we will see and experiment together. 
But yeah, those are my exciting packages for the week. So, so excited. So, um, I am now going to get ready to film, like, my proper videos for the week. And then after that, I'm going to edit this vlog and upload it ASAP. Because, again, it's Tuesday afternoon and this goes up on a Wednesday morning here in Melbourne, Australia. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. I will end the vlog at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed. Tell me down in the comment box down below. Have you guys tried out anything from the recent Mac collection? I'd love to hear from you guys. Alright, again, don't forget to check out the other videos on the screen, my social media links down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!